Hello and welcome to Let's Try, where we are the first to try new and upcoming indie games. I am your host, Shattered Rift, and tonight, let's try Scarlet Hood and the Wicked Wood. An upcoming game getting released uh, this Thursday, April 8th. It is an action, story-driven, multiple-ending combination of Brothers Grimm with, I think, some Oz mixed in craziness that we're going to experience together here. And of course, if you would like to join our show, we are live every Tuesday night at twitch.tv slash shatterdrift. But you're probably watching this on YouTube right now. So sit back, get ready, and enjoy. And welcome on in, Nate Graves. So we're just gonna start in slot one. With some fan service. I'm loving these graphics too, Game Enjoyer. I'm going to turn up our uh, volume for cutscenes a little bit as soon as I get the chance. Game music was super loud and was not adjusting very well. Cutscene music. At least our voice volume is too low, which hopefully is the video. Y'all were slower than the last. Oh, we're, we're covering up our, our picture here. Let's go ahead and fix that. Can't be covering up all this sexy artwork here. So we're going to put ourselves over to the right-hand side and hope that that's uh, sufficient for this episode. Johnny Bailey, welcome on in. Do enjoy that Dahlia. Y'all were slower than molasses. What took so long? Oh, we're covering up all the pictures. Okay, we're going we're gonna to solve that problem. We're going to solve that problem. It's gonna be as good as it gets, guys. It's gonna be as good as it gets. My face has to be on here somewhere for you to see my reactions. Someone was a little preoccupied with his hair. I wonder who that could be. Don't mind him, Scar. You appre can appreciate a mane this fine or You can appreciate a mane this fine requires tender love and care. You have a niece named Dahlia Johnny? That's cool. Under the same time to be worrying about split ins. I know. Just wanted to make a good impression on our, on our big night. So do I. Couldn't care less, so long as we seal that record deal. Put the pedal to the metal. You heard the lady. All right, buckle up, Scott. So a really common complaint I have is how many games will throw several characters at you at once, and they're all forgettable. Like, we have some great art going on here. I also love how the van, the, the motorhome says Foxtrot Bop on it. Yo, it's cats and dogs tonight. I hate rain. Leonard, turn up the radio. Word is an official tornado watch has been issued. With heavy rain and winds picking up, you may want to consider boarding those windows up tonight. So keep those eyes peeled and stay tuned to 106.4 FM, the Coyote. Awoo! Uh, Can we get some awoos in chat, please, from all of our werewolves? The tornado watch sounds serious. Maybe we should go back. You kidding me? The talent scout from Wicked Records flew all the way here from Nashville to be here tonight. We know so you can kiss our chance to sign a label goodbye. So that's, uh, no, the show ain't over till the fat lady sings. And if you haven't noticed, I'm fit as a fiddle. I'm loving the dialogue, though. I'm, I'm loving this writing. Ooh, a malted watermelon. Haven't we seen a malted watermelon cupcake before? Kitsune, I will get you that that compliment in a in a moment. Besides, that was a tornado watch. It's not serious till it's upgraded to a warning. See, now I'm really wish G Game Enjoyer, you are the one who lives in uh, tornado country, or the closest to tornado country out of all of us. Can you tell me, give me any insight on, on tornadoes and the cause for concern of an of a of a watch versus a warning? Suits me. Watch is meaningless. Like Game Enjoyer is saying, a tornado watch is meaningless. Chick a leg, big guy, we're running late. Hold on to your knickers. Next stop, groove box. Got that chat? Hold on to your knickers. See, it says Foxtrot Bop on, on the, uh, 
on the van. That just that just gets me so much. Looks like the weather cleared up, like a calm before the storm. Weather ain't the only thing cleared up tonight. This place looks dead. Come on, guys, we're about to put the show of a lifetime. Nick, get your heart in the game. We ain't got room for Debbie Downer on that stage. Damn, Scar, you're dishing out hash browns like crazy tonight. Or harsh browns. Sorry, not hash browns. Harsh browns. Source, Nate also lives in Tornado Country and can verify. The Tornado Watch is meaningless. They're served with the side of tough love. Trust me, y'all be singing my praises later. Okay, time to get your game face on. You got this, Nick. I feel like this is Cypress's kind of game right now. Is there actually a game here or is this a graphic novel? It says that it's a game, Game Enjoyer. That, that's the thing that I was confused about coming into this as well. I came into this for the art style. I assume Kitsune meant to say graphic move and completely mistyped it. Kitsune, are you actually at a computer for once? Guess you were right about the weather clearing up. That's right, we were. Told you Winnie could make it on time. Girls never let us down before. I'm kind of disappointed the van isn't named Toto. You know? Well, this guy's not getting past the bouncer. Ouch, watch it, man. I told you we were closed. But what you're talking about, I saw plenty of folks still in there. Let me rephrase that. The gear box is closed to you. Don't worry, chat. This stream is not closed to you. Not unless you misbehave. Now get. Better than I expect him to roll out the red carpet for us tonight. How much energy do I have? I have, like, no energy meter or anything, and we can just run endlessly. Also, I, I really appreciate the ruby red sneakers. I hate the fact that the, the Wizard of Oz movie decided to remove the, replace the silver slippers with ruby red slippers. But I understand. It was the, one of the first color movies. They decided to make it look good. Whoa, hold your horses, little lady. Where do you think you're going? Good evening, sir. We come bearing the gift of music. Say what? We're Foxtrot Bop. And we're putting on a performance tonight. Sure took your time getting here. The show's finished. Piss off. Hey, we drove three hours to get here. No way we're leaving until we play our set. First off, I doubt y'all could carry a tune in a bucket. Is that an actual saying? Carry a tune in a bucket? What does that mean? Okay, you're uh, out of PC most of the time. I wasn't sure, Keith, I wasn't sure. Of course, we are rocking the Daisy Glass of April. For all of those of you who have April birthdays, the Daisy is the flower of your birth month. Or if you know someone with an April birthday. Game Enjoyer confirming it is an actual saying. Is it a playoff of tuna, asked Nate? I don't, I don't know. You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a bucket. But I'm Hey, Kitsune, I'm going to need some time with your compliment. I give you the same compliment a lot of the time on stream, so I want to think of something different. Second, I call the shots here, and I say scram. So what's it going to be, tough guy? Yeah, that's what I thought. What's all the ruckus out here? Close this door, Lou. You're letting out all the good air. Sorry, ma'am. I was just dealing with this bunch of band of miscreants here. Well, butter my bottom and call me a biscuit. Y'all that band, Foxtrot Bop? Foxtrot Bop, yes. We were just um, explaining to your, to your colleague, ma'am. Let's drop the formalities. Call me Savannah. Welcome on in, Angie. How are you doing tonight? We are playing Scarlet Hood in the Wicked Wood, and we have not gotten to the fantasy side of things yet. I didn't expect this to start in a uh, real-world setting. I'm loving it so far. Y'all got here in the nick of time. We had half a mind to close early tonight. Not that Lou would have cared, right, darling? Don't just stand there. Be a deer and show our guests inside. Yes, ma'am. Gee, she's got him acting like a whipped pup. Guess it's your lucky night. Grab your gear and get ready to set up. Okay, our in-game music is, is much quieter than the... You guys see how much one adjustment on the music increases the sound? Just assign someone else to give me a compliment. Chat, I challenge you all to give Kitsune a compliment. I am farming that job out to you. I mean, giving you the gracious opportunity to compliment Kitsune. You wanna get some food game enjoy or you go for it? Mm-hmm, a brother could get used to this. Great, ain't it? 
This is going to be a standard fare when we hit the big time. We got everything set up? Yep. Did you double check? Slowly roll, Scar. We're good. You know me. I always get the pre-staged digits before playing. What's your secret? Good night's rest always gets me in the right headspace. That doesn't work for me. Does that work for you, chat? Angie coming in saying that Kitsune has a wonderful username. Speaking of which, you look tired. Didn't sleep last night, did you? Guilty as charged. Can't fly like an eagle when you're hooting with the owls, Scar. You okay, Leonard? Yeah, my adrenaline's still pumping. That guy was ready to throw down. That fool's too big for his britches. Forget him. Yeah, I guess so. Your pride's scratched, but you did the right thing. Nothing a little liquid courage won't fix before we go on stage, I guess. That's the spirit. Delegating and volunteering. Exactly, exactly, Nabby. Just like your, your boss did to you with your work schedule. Oh, I see what you did there. Look alive, folks. It's showtime. This is it, guys. We practiced a million times. Time to knock him dead. I love this art style, and I'm I'm loving the. Hopefully everyone in chat was bopping there with me. Bravo! Encore! Encore! Achievement unlocked. Showtime. That was amazing. Did you feel the energy out there tonight? Hey, the boss lady wants a word. Hello? Ever hear her knocking before you barge in? Don't mind her. We're coming. Best you come alone, miss. Me? You hear the man's car, don't keep the lady waiting. Goes this far now, go seal the deal. I admit you were right coming here tonight. Thanks for keeping us on track. Oh, there's my energy meter. Also, we're getting items later, apparently. Oop. That little left bumper on there. The VIP office is next door. She must be in there. I think I should meet her, the agent, first. I don't know what all these signs and posters are in the back, but I, I, I always love a detailed background. I think I should meet the agent first. Hello, bouncer. Go on in, the boss lady's waiting for you. Alrighty, let's do it. Scarlet, darling, come on and make yourself at home. Nice office. This old place? Bless your heart. Hmm, it's not my cup of tea. That said, my tastes are a little more sophisticated than the owner. I borrow it when I'm in town, though, so you know what they say. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Let's cut to the chase. That performance was to die for. Scarlet, my girl, you got the making of a bona fide star. I'm a telling you. I can picture it right now. You'll be headline this time next year. Whoa, I don't know what to say. The boys are going to be all over the moon when I tell them. Now about that, there is one condition. I got a trio of boys doing sessions as backing musicians. I'm talking cream of the crop, the bee's knees. The only thing we're missing is a marketable front girl for a solo debut. You mean you don't want to sign Foxtrot Bop? Aren't you precious? Ain't nothing personal, honey. This is show business. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. Wait, wait, wait. If it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, what's happening to Toto? My job's separating the wheat from the chaff. And I can make a mighty fine bowl of Wheaties from your talent. <laughs> That is one of the best insults I have ever heard. Gotta separate the wheat from the chaff, and I can make a mighty fine bowl of Wheaties from what you're rocking. So what do you say? I, I don't think, Scarlet Sugar, you gotta aspire to greater things, like that sister of yours. Wait, you know Ruby? You don't think that's an insult? That's 100% an insult. It's gotta be an insult, right? Because she's complimenting her, her own trio of boys, Mika, and saying that, that uh, Scarlet's are, aren't worthwhile. But then again, the wheat is the cream of the crop. Oh, don't get me started. We go way back. You're the spitting image of her if I ever did see it. Girl had a good head on her shoulders. Tell you what, I know this kind of decision weighs heavy on the mind. 
Right, I get that wheat is the good part and chaff is the bad part, but she was calling the, uh... Our, our three boys, our Nick and the other two, who I don't remember their names already. Heading out tomorrow. Give this read and get back to me when you're ready. It'll be our little secret. Scarlet received the contract. I said my piece, so don't be a stranger, you hear? Bye now. She didn't even tell me how to get back in touch with her. Boss lady told me you got a good set of pipes. Takes a lot to impress a woman like her. It's a lot to take in. Need some time to gather my thoughts. Does this place have a powder room? Leonard plays the drums. This, this is supposed to be based off of um, Little Red Riding Hood, but it's got huge Wizard of Oz vibes. Or huge Oz vibes, Kitsune. True. Powder room is just one of those phrases that will never sound right to you, like water closet. Water closet. This sounds like a flooded closet. <laughs> Nick plays the keyboard and bass. Never forgot how he makes heads or tails with all these keys. I always water closet is another term for bathroom. Okay, okay. Thank you for that clarification, Nate, because my brain wasn't. <sighs> oh, we have people in the background. Ghost note. Wicked Records latest hit group exploded on the scene eight years ago and continues to dominate the charts. The Astro. This band rose to prominence in the 80s and are still a well are still well known in the industry. Ruby Raz, legendary band made a name for themselves in the 50s and cemented Wicked Records legacy in the music industry. Guess from out of town? Thought so. Your country is cornbread. Wait, wait, wait. Who in this city says somebody is this country is cornbread? We got backstage access. Use the staff restroom. Passwords on the wall. Just go from top to bottom. Okay, so there's a code. I see a five, five, six, eight, three. Can I? Okay, cool. I'm also not sure how I'm supposed to do that with my uh, controller, but you know. What am I going to do? I can't drop this news on the boys. They'll be crushed. But what about her offer? A real label. Headline the shows around the country. It's the opportunity I always dreamed of. I just need some time to ponder on it. No harm in that, right? I'll tell the guys she's considering things. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe I'll even change her mind in the meantime. Oh, my sweet summer child. You are not going to change her mind. Okay, Scar, let's do this. Our Appalachian songbirds returned. I hope she came singing the good news. Yeah, what took so long? Come on, spill the beans, Scar. Did y'all settle down? I'm fixing to tell you. Look, we talked, but nothing much came of it. Say what? Got me more to it than that. Nick's right. What'd you say? Come on, guys, let her speak. Thanks, Leonard. You know, these city folk are about as tender as a judge's heart. I'm assuming that means not tender. They've seen everything. Proper deals take time. She's got to mull over the details. We were perfect tonight. Yeah, and she liked us. But she's leaving tomorrow morning, and she'll be in touch. So she'll be in touch. Kind of anticlimactic, if you ask me. What you got there, Scar? Huh? Let's have a gander. What's up? Yeah, let me see. Scar, this is what I think it is? Now hold up, Sam, I can explain. It's a contract from Wicked Records. What's going on? Wait, if that's a contract, then... I was about to talk about nothing much came of it, and she got to mull over the details. See, I didn't want to say nothing, because I knew you guys would flip. Say nothing about what, Scar? She offered me a solo recording contract. And what'd you say? Well, I just, like I said, nothing came of it. Yet yeah, you still have this. I think maybe you were considering her offer. What? Scar, why didn't you just... Tell her to shove the contract where the sun don't shine. Why did the other lady want us to abandon our people for hers? We don't know, game. Either she thinks we're going to make her a lot of money. Or there's a mystery afoot. I'll tell you why, Leonard, because some people ain't got no loyalty. Guys, you aren't giving me a chance to scar. You got caught lying red-handed. Yeah, and you sweat more in a witch in church. I have seen a witch in church. Different witch from Cyprus, I, sh I should specify. Can't verify. 
Maybe you two deserve each other. Hey, stop being so dramatic. Come on, Leonard. This really ain't what it looks like. You came this whole way together, Scar. Tonight was supposed to be a big deal for us. Why would you lie? Leonard. Guess the cat's out of the bag. This weather certainly fits the mood. Think I'm gonna be sick. Probably could have handled that better. I'd give anything to set things straight. You'd know what to do, right? Hey! The heck is that? <gasps> no way! I think we just hit the actual game, Game Enjoyer. That's that's what your question was. I think we are through with the prologue. I think we are here. So the boys are worried about Scarlet leaving them for a solo career, so they toss her out and force her to leave them and start a solo career. Seems legit. Hey, hey, hey. She could have been on her, like, front driveway, for all we know. The heck? I'm still alive. Praise the Lord. Did I just get tossed by a tornado? Huh? A fox? Is it Kitsune here in the video game? That's the cutest walk noise. So that's coming from above. No way I'm getting out from here, though. A boy? Is he injured? Oh, Lord. Help, I need some help down here. My phone. No, all my stuff's gone. Ugh. Hey, little man, you hurt? Witch! Hey, what's gotten into him? Kid must be spooked. Can't fault him on that. This buggy's seen better days. Reminds me of the wagons from the, the olden times. <laughs> Burn Save your progress by trusting with the Mystic Totem. These wooden crates look like they were broken by a strong impact. Handsome little varmin, aren't you? You ain't fooling me. It's always the cute ones that got the rabies. Burn her. Burn the witch, says Nate. Not a bad choice. Although in this world, we might want to melt her instead. Hmm, at least he don't look so, so bitey. Scott. Oh, what? Hello? Is someone there? Tell me you heard that, too. Well, a lot of good you are. Gotta be way out through here. Only one way to find out. <laughs> Don't burn Cyprus. Is Cyprus the only witch in this chat, though? Okay, that's an adorable... squirrel in the background? I'm actually getting kind of concerned. This looks like a museum of animals. Found you. Get back, witch. Mika used to be a witch. Makes sense. Mind your manners, little man. That ain't no way to address your elders. I don't associate with witches nor any other magically inclined folks. I also appreciate the use of magic being spelled or uh, magic being spelled with a K. Why, can you believe the nerve of that slander and little Oh, don't give me that look. What's he staring at, anyhow? Into the road. Soon to know your way around here. Who am I kidding? Down here all five minutes, I'm already talking to a fox. This don't look like no ordinary wall. Alright, time for some puzzle solving. Squeak, 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 says Nevi. All the gold stuff is shaped the same. We have water, wind, lightning, fire. I think that's water on the first one. Or it's mountain. Can I? Oh, I can mess with this. Do I have to use my mouse for this? I think I do, actually. Let me, let me double. I should double check and see if this game was actually uh, 
actually specified controller use or not. Yeah, it says full controller support. I don't know why. Don't toss you in the briar patch, Nate. We'll see what we have to do. Uh, we have fox, snake, flying squirrel, and mouse. Oh, I know what we have to do. Okay, okay, okay. See these right here? Okay, so uh, squirrel is water, mouse is wind, snake is lightning, but fire is destroyed. There's part of the snake here on the floor, and right here we have fox. Okay, so squirrel, mouse, snake, fox. Squirrel, mouse, snake, fox. Oh, here we go. Uh, squirrel, mouse, snake, fox. Look, maybe I'm mixing up the animals, but they are right in my head. And really, isn't that the most important thing? Whoa, what is this place? Wait up. Look what the cat dragged in. Glad to see you finally came to your senses, kid. I ain't no kid. You big freak. Excuse me? Ooh, okay, deep breaths. Look, maybe we got off on the wrong foot. I'm Scarlet. Fine. I'm Tuck. Please make your acquaintance, Tuck. Now, how did you end up down here? Are you crazy? Uh, you're the one falling out of the sky, busting up everything on the way down. You almost killed me. You might as well have finished the job. Miss Dixie's gonna wring my neck when she finds out what happened to her wagon. Wait, all that stuff back there was yours? That caravan wagon was bound for Castle Royalton. Castle Royalton? We living under a rock or something? We're going to Prince Lear's coronation. Hmm. Miss Dixie will know what to do with you. Till then, I ain't letting you out of my sight. I'm down to meet this Miss Dixie of yours. But we still need to get out of here first. You hope the pairing of animals to elements is completely forgotten for the next 10 hours of gameplay and all of a sudden super important to solving a late game puzzle? Brooks? <laughs> Just because that's true in your games. And then I proceed to forget the stuff. Cave art looks old. I wonder what it's about. You don't know? Um, should I? It's only the Volvarok, also known as the end of the world. Everyone in Gloam knows the legend. It's the final battle between the seven witches. What is it with you and witches? Hmm. Where are you from again? Uh, pretty close by, actually. Right here in Kentucky. Kentucky. Oh, I get it. You poking fun at my name. That's right, Tuck. I can Tuck E. Uh, no, oh, forget it. Yeah, I'm losing my marbles to this kid's the most dedicated renaissance festival act in town. There's two more animals in the last puzzle. You have to check the back of the jewel case for the solution. Dang it, Nate. That would freak me out, too. Is that a real corpse? Holy crap, she's mummified. That's so... Metal. Tuck, you gotta see this. The, the, the Red Witch! Same as the cave painting. This is bad, bad news. Did the Black Witch do this? What do you want about now? You really aren't from around here, are you? Four years ago, the Black Witch flew to Castle Royalton on her juju stick. At least it wasn't her disco stick. She kidnapped Princess Morgan and spirited her to the royal wood. All because she wanted the royal tiara for herself. I could go for a royal tiara. Where do we find her? They say the princess has been locked in her dark tower, the rookery, ever since. The king sent the sacred band, Gloam's three legendary heroes, to rescue her. But they were never seen again. That's why everyone calls it the Wicked Wood now. Three heroes, you say? They wouldn't happen to be uh, made of tin... One might be a furry, and the other one has some straw for brains. That was a lot of nonsense exposition. 
I disagree, Nate. On, on the one hand, yes. It was definitely a lot of nonsense exposition. But based on the on the fairy tale underpinnings, based on the Oz influence, if it all comes together in the ways I just predicted with our three bandmates being the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and the Cowardly Lion, it's, it's not too much of a stretch for somebody who's already familiar with the basic stories. But they were never seen again. That's why everyone calls it the Wicked Wood now. Nice story. You are good. Seriously. I'd best keep my dis. What's this? What's this dopey looking thing? Is that a hand? It's sticking straight out of the ground. Obviously we pull it out. The heck? This thing's much tighter than the lid on a pickle jar. Today the troubles have begun. Something wicked your way comes. Tis which regalia call your own, for the seeds that must be sown. Undo the work of cold, dark spite. Heroes three, their fates unright. Fear not, thine sundries we shall bind. Seven lives shall death unwind. My life renounced makes this charm good. Take up thy mantle, Scarlet Hood. Poor girl should have worked out more as game enjoyer. No, 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 we obviously just got our broomstick. Come on, guys. I was wondering if there's anything else in the room that I didn't get. But what is this thing? You're wearing the Red Witch Regalia. It's gonna only be the work of one thing. Real magic. You're the next Red Witch. I just knew you were the real deal. Hmm. Guess you're the good type or you would have offed me by now. You better find Miss Tixie. She's a whole repository of knowledge about these sort of things. Quest items are stored in another pocket of Scarlet's hood. Okay, our hood has pockets for items. Nothing good happens when you form a contact with a small fuzzy animal. <laughs> That's right, Nebby. Ooh. I see some shoes. Ouch, you just nipped me. Oh, I never saw this on the table before. Do you want me to find this? Hmm, it does look pretty valuable. It's nice, but where's the other one? Got a ruby heel. I just knew the real deal. Hmm, guess you're the good type of rid of by now. Yeah, you already you already said all that, buddy. Ooh, it's on the floor. Some type of runic inscriptions here. Do they have a purpose? Uh put our wand in between an upside down anchor. An egg chair and an enclosed thing on top. One day you'll fulfill your dream of becoming a time traveling magical girl, Nate. Ah, won't we all? The new conscription above the arch light. When the arch light up when I hold this tablet. Staff has the same runes on its fingertips. I wonder if open the fox gate by activating its arch stones before the timer runs out. I'm so confused. What buttons am I trying to hit for this? Okay, it's my arrows on my thing. Anchor. Whoa, why did it... <laughs> what? Okay, anchor is left. There we go. Okay, it's, it's directions corresponding with the things. That was... That hurt my brain for a second. It worked. Let's skedaddle. I'm telling you, whatever fell out of the sky knocked that bridge all cattywampus. Welcome on in, John and B. We are playing Scarlet Hood and the Wicked Wood.
is a lovely drawn game. We ain't got no choice but to detour through the wicked wood. Skeeter, you make about as much sense as a soup sandwich. That's right, Nate. That's right. <laughs> I sure to think what would happen if Black Witch caught us gallivanting through her forest. Miss Dixie. Okay, that the sound effects in this game are so good. The way she is drawn. The way all the females in this game are drawn. Tuck, Skeeter told me you brought bought the farm. No, ma'am, survived by the skin of my teeth. Doing fine, all things considered. Oh, I can see that. Also, let's wait. I, I need to show off off her uh hat right now. Look at that hat. That is the the biggest, smallest top hat imaginable. What did you do to my caravan wagon, you miserable knave? I had a wallop you something fierce. A plus hat choice, says Nate. Uh, howdy. I was fixing to tell you, Miss Dixie. She's the one that fell out of the sky and broke the Royalton Bridge. What in gloam? This here is Miss Scarlet. Hm. You're the tallest munchkin I ever laid eyes on. Where are you from, from, Blondie? Oh, she ain't local. She's from a kingdom called Kentucky. It's Kentucky. And what the heck is happening right now? Ahem, as leaders of this troop of misfits, allow me to elucidate the situation, Miss Scarlet. These knuckleheads wouldn't would have believed would have me believe you've compromised the only way to Prince Lear's coronation. Uh Miss Dixie, actually she's a shush tuck. And it seems you are singly responsible for obliterating my caravan wagon full of fine wares. Now you may have a different way of doing things in whatever backwoods you crawled out from. But when you drop by my neck of glow, I'm acting like a bull in a china shop shop. Well, satisfaction is owed. Listen here, I didn't ask you to get tossed by a freaking tornado. I'm just looking for a way back home. Miss Dixie, we got trouble. It's flying monkeys! And... Weird birds with massive beaks. Look guys, we have flying monkeys. You understood that reference, Mika? Exactly. What the? The staff's got a mind of its own. Watch out! He comes at the camera with a fist! My land, I was in such a huff I didn't notice it earlier. That's legendary Wampin' Stick! Tuck, why didn't you tell me we were in the presence of a bona fide witch? But that's what I was trying to do. Shush, Tuck. I'm thinking. You all said she dropped out of the sky. And judging from the witch regalia and the way you swing that wampum stick, this can only mean one thing. You must be the new red witch. Been about four years since any news of that last one. Yep, no doubts about it. Look, you clearly got me mixed up with someone else. For the last time, I ain't no witch. You say tomato, I say tomato. Fact is, we can't keep hanging out here like a hare in a biscuit. You know, I don't like biscuits and gravy, but I'm suddenly hungry for some biscuits and gravy. Gotta make camp in the Wicked Woods. At least then we'll have some cover. Of course, we'll be providing security detail for my troop until we get to the other side. It's the least you do after busting up my wagon and the only bridge to Royalton. And some grits. Okay, what are grits exactly? Um, I don't know if any if anybody else has Black Bear Diner where they live. Like we we like I, I'm up here in you know Washington State, so getting good Southern food is very very difficult. But we have a place called Black Bear Diner, which is adorable and has massive portion sizes. And the 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 uh, biscuits or the rolls, I forget what they are, are like the size of a small child's head. Mika would do uh, just about anything for a good homemade biscuit and gravy right now. See you soon. I'll consider your debt to me satisfied. Besides, them woods got magical history. You may find some answers about your predicament. So what do you say? Care to join the cantrip caravan? No, let's go, huh? Whatever. Grab your junk and let's move. Have I ever had a cream of wheat? Yes. Uh, I've, I've had like the store-bought cream of wheat as a kid and I hated it. I do declare you all look as happy as snowmen in a hot spring. Splitterfoot, how about rousing our spirits with a good story? It's weird having all the achievements in this game be automatic. Like, there's another achievement right there that we just got. My pleasure, ahem. 
We all know the gnomes were the first inhabitants of Gloam, long before the Munchkin came. Their totems speak to us through dust of time, whispers from a lost culture. You see, the gnomes possessed innate abilities some consider magical. Naturally, their masons and wizards sought lands that would enhance their powers. Lands lying at the intersection of ley lines, the lifeblood of Gloam. These very woods are one of them intersections. They were once the stomping grounds of those ancients. Well, I reckon there must be a reason the Black Witch took up residence in this tree place. Say, Miss Scarlet, you feel any different here? I mean, seeing as how you're a witch and all. That reminds me, can't a witch summon her staff in hand with a flick of her wrist? I told you I ain't a real witch. Don't be shy, give it a go. Alright, you asked for it. Oh, Miss Scarlet, I know you got it in you. Kind of like that, but better. I have not had better cream of wheat, no. Wah! It's no use. Wait, I think I saw it move. What, really? Oh no, just the fire playing tricks on my eyes. Scarlet, my dear, I have just noticed a flaw in your proverbial slaw. Why, you're suffering from a literal case of wardrobe malfunction. Great, now I'm taking fashion advice from a munchkin. Alright, let's hear it, queer eye. Every witch is full of garlic, always come in a set of three. The headdress, staff, and shoes. You're missing the Red Witch's signature ruby heels. Miss Sixty's right, you probably can't use your full witching powers without those heels. Ruby heels? Hold the phone. What about this? Takes two to tango, sugar. That's, that's accurate. That's that's not completely wrong. Does indeed take two to tango. Can verify. Where's the other one? There ain't no other shoe, at least I didn't see one. Ain't that a shame. Don't fret. We can make do with your crummy aptitude in the art of hexing. Who might have complained as long as you use see us out of this godforsaken woods? Appreciate that vote of confidence. I'm turning in for the night. We have a long road ahead of us tomorrow. Try and get a few winks. Today the troubles have begun. Something wicked your way comes. Rise and shine, Blondie. You can tangle us a little way just to be way off, though. No, Mika, no. Don't do it. Don't hurt the dancer inside me. Uh. <sighs> Huh? Y'all ready to go? Not yet. The troops still packed and the Skeeter's peeping the Longhorns. Prepping the Longhorns, not peeping the Longhorns. Very big difference between peeping the Longhorns and prepping the Longhorns there. Just want to make sure you're up and at him. Thanks. I'm not what you'd call an early bird. Don't worry, Sugar. You can get some rest on Ride to Royalton. I'll haul there if we need you. Hey, I'm sure a little fresh air will wake me up. Here's a suggestion. Forge some mushrooms for the ride. Trust me, if you're looking for an energy booster, mushrooms never fail. Hmm, sounds like a plan. Let's see what I can wrestle up. And we've obtained a map. Oh, and my uh, my objectives are in the upper right. Let's go ahead and show that real quick. So if I hold right bumper in the upper... Oops. Current objective. Prepare for the ride to Royal Castle Royalton. To do. Find something to eat for the ride to Castle Royalton. Not mushrooms. Munch rooms. As long as they're not mushy rooms. It's a pathetic yawn, gotta get in, gotta really get into the acting. I don't- Nebby, do not tell anyone to uh, injure my inner dancer. Where's our safe point? Got a moment with Scarlet? Sure, what can I do for you, Tuck? We'll be taking Ruby Road straight to Royalton today. Problem is, this trail hasn't been used in years and is looking the worst for wear. Now we gotta cram all our supplies into one, in one wagon. Never gonna let that go, are ya? As soon as we can't afford to take us slow in these dangerous woods, I'll need to reinforce this wagon's wheels. Unfortunately, my toolkit's gone rogue. Someone must have used it to pitch a tent last night without asking me. I will bet it was Sparkbot. The game portion of this game are not too exciting so far. This still feels like a graphic novel. It really does. It feels like an interactive graphic novel. It couldn't have gone far, right? Yeah, I definitely agree with that, Game Enjoyer. Um... We're going to wrap up here and we're going to read a little bit more of the information to see see if we can find out anything about how the gameplay changes. It's definitely very story heavy and I love both the art and music. And it's still they're still describing it as a story driven adventure game, but I'm not I'm not convinced it's really an adventure game. It's just kind of a story driven It's a visual novel with interaction. 
Um, and the premise is that Scarlet, you must relive seven days of misfortune and make a series of decisions to guide your, your munchkin troops safely out of the Wicked Wood. Experience branching outcomes based on your decision. And there's, I think, seven different endings, is what we were told. Which is the thing that, like, it very much, like, in, in the notes when we received this game, that was the thing that they wanted us to emphasize. And no, Brooks is right. Plenty of people really enjoy a graphic novel-style genre. Like, this, this is... I've been having fun with this plot. I think Cypress would have more fun with it than I am. I think she's busy right now, and it's something I'm going to suggest to her uh, later. But the the things the publisher wanted emphasized, uh, once again, I'll link to the Steam page for anybody who wants to check it out and has not done so already. Please mention in your videos that this game offers many different endings. You, you will only see part of all of the puzzles. Uh, the game is expected to take eight or nine hours to complete, and the final price is going to be fourteen ninety nine USD, uh, eleven ninety nine uh, British pounds, and a fifteen percent discount at launch. So there's there's not much else to say right now. Uh, for those of you, I mean, you can, you can see that we have health and energy in the upper corner, and that matters. I think there was something on the Steam page that I'm not seeing here. Something about the the wicked. Not the Wicked Witch, uh, a wolf chasing after you. So it's, it's kind of just a, uh, an interactive graphic novel, novel with mini puzzles. It's kind of how this looks to be. Evade a hungry wolf. Which I don't know if that's an ongoing thing or not. Things are what they are. It's, uh, I mean, you guys can define this game however you want to define it. You know if, if it's something that interests you or not. I do all this coverage, and you guys decide whether it's right for you from there. Of course, if you are watching this on YouTube, please remember to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button for more Let's Try content. Catch us live every Tuesday night at twitch.tv slash shatterdrift. And if you would like to support what we are doing here on Let's Try, I'm not going to ask for your money. Instead, I'm going to say, do you have Amazon Prime? Do you know someone with Amazon Prime? Make sure to connect to Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and use your free Twitch Prime sub each month on a content creator of your choice, whether it's me, whether it's somebody else. Just as long as you don't let Jeff Bezos keep his money. He does not need a money, a, a, a gold-filled vault to swim in. Okay? Once again, I am your host, Shatterdrift, and I will see you all next time.